Today, the province recorded six new confirmed cases of COVID-19. There are currently 90 active cases in the province. 147,143 people have been tested so far. There are also three new presumptive cases, presumptive positive cases rather, in the province. In other news, effective immediately, a special measures order has been introduced to move the communities in the Lewisport to Summerford area of the province to Alert Level 3. All other communities in this region along the Trans-Canada Highway Route 1 from Gambo to Badger will move back to Alert Level 2. A special measures order is also being introduced to expand the area in the Western Health region that is in Alert Level 4 to include towns and communities along Highway Route 403. And finally, the RCMP in Fairyland is asking for the public's assistance after repeated acts of mischief at a Whitless Bay residence. On May 28th, at approximately 12.10 a.m., two young people were witnessed banging on a residence located on Harbor Road, Whitless Bay. The homeowner reported that this has been ongoing for approximately three years. Police are seeking to identify the operator of the ATV and all persons responsible for this mischief. Anyone with information is asked, is asked to contact the RCMP or Crime Stoppers. In your weather forecast, we're talking about the risk of thunderstorms across some areas of the province tomorrow. I'll tell you where right after this. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet. They responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet. Connect to what matters. We saw some rain, drizzle, and fog across Newfoundland today as we head into the forecast. Uh, for tomorrow, we'll be talking about the risk of thunderstorms. We'll get to that in just a moment. But first, your forecast overnight tonight in St. John's will get down to a low of 7. We are looking at a chance of some showers, and the winds will be coming from the southwest, 30 gusting to 60. As we head through central Newfoundland tonight, mostly cloudy, and a low of 8. Corner Brook tonight, a chance of showers, and uh, a low of plus 6. Now, we do have the potential to see some non-severe thunderstorms across uh, Newfoundland tomorrow. Uh, the areas at greatest risk is highlighted in the orange here. So that's places from, say, Bonavista North uh, to the Bonavista Peninsula, uh, through much of Central, including Gander, Grand Falls, probably even as far west as, say, the Howley area. So if you are in those areas, just be mindful that uh, we could see a few rumbles of thunder as we head through the forecast for tomorrow. So for St. John's, we'll likely get up to 20 degrees tomorrow under a mix of sun and cloud. It will be quite fair, but a bit cooler uh, for uh, portions of the south coast. And uh, then there's that thunderstorm risk gander uh, tomorrow at a daytime high of 22. These thunderstorms are likely to occur in the afternoon. And back across the west coast, there is a chance we could see some shower activity. And then as we head into Labrador, we are looking at a mix of sun and cloud right across the board. Temperature's not too bad either, anywhere from uh, 7 to 14 degrees. So your five-day now for St. John's, we, as I said, tomorrow, sun and cloud and a high of 20, warming up to 21 on Thursday with some mostly sunny skies. We are going to turn a little bit unsettled as we head through the weekend. We are looking at sun and cloud Friday, Saturday through to Sunday, but there is a chance of showers all three days and highs from 18 to 20. And then as we head into Gander, a high of 22 is expected tomorrow, and we do have a risk that we could see uh, some thunderstorms in the afternoon. As we head through Thursday, sun and cloud on a high of 23. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, once again, sun and cloud with a chance of some showers. And then finally in Corner Brook, a high of 18 uh, is expected for tomorrow with a chance of showers. As we head through Thursday, sun and cloud on 22. Friday, cooling down to 16 with a chance of showers overcast on Saturday and a chance of showers for your Sunday. Today is June 1st, which, which marks the beginning of the Atlantic hurricane season. We've already had one named storm this year, and it is expected to be an active year. We will, of course, keep you updated on any developments in the tropical Atlantic. 
that's a look at your news and your forecast now. You can head on over and check out newfoundnews.ca for more.